What's going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today we are talking the Geo R5 full tournament package. And why? Because the best source for fives. That's, that's us, lonewolfpaintball.com. So, uh, Mark, are we going to dive on into this or what? I think we should. So this is a tournament package. This, this is, is the, the best of the best of the best. Brand with new Geo R5 full tournament package. The best of the best of the best of the best. Sir, so let's start off with the goggles. We're gonna say the Geo R5 to the end. And if you guys don't wanna wait until the end, I have a full video breakdown, unboxing and shooting of this thing already on the YouTube channel. So go check that out if you don't wanna be bored by the other stuff. But uh, we're starting with the Die i5 goggle system. If you guys have known this goggle, probably one of the best on the entire market. A lot of the pro players use this and a lot of even divisional, you know, divisional and intermediate players use this bad boy. Um, We've talked about this goggle a million times. My favorite part about it is the nice and nifty ratchet strap in the back. That is how you tighten and actually loosen the goggle on your head by the spin of this dial. So lefty, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, huh, Mark? That's what my dad taught me. That's right. And it's got the full foam pad on the back as well. So it's very, very nice and comfortable. It does have the removable foam on the inside. So after hundreds of times of wearing the Die i5 goggle, the foam's gonna get worn out. It's gonna get nasty, full of dirt, moisture, sweat, all that good stuff. You guys can simply just pull the foam out and buy a replacement kit for it instead of actually having to replace the entire goggle system itself, which, you know, they're not cheap. It's one of the best goggles on the market. So just replace your foam and you'll be in good hands. I recommend guys, if you play a lot and have this goggle, buy a separate set of foam anyway and just swap it out randomly just so they last longer. It or, gets gross, it gets icky. I like that because even if you're playing like a long scenario weekend or a long paintball tournament, NXL or wherever you guys are at, um, swap it out in between each day or in between, you know, halfway through the day. So you've got a nice fresh set of foam. It's not all sweaty and soggy for you. So I like that interchangeable foam. Um, another thing about the Die i5 goggle system, super easy to change the lenses on. And there are easily 20, 15 to 20 different lens options available, depending if you want tint or HD or chromatic or whatever you guys want, you guys can easily swap the actual lens out itself. Uh, breathability and communication is very, very nice. Plenty of ventilation throughout the side and definitely in the front of the goggle. Um, the only thing that I would say about this, if you have like a very large head, maybe not the goggle for you, but if you guys can pick another goggle, right? Would you agree, Mark? Like if you have glasses? Yeah, it's, it's okay with glasses, but it's really a, a slim line mask. It's not designed to cover every inch of your triple chin. Uh, so saying you know, it how it is. Yeah. Younger players and people with smaller heads will definitely benefit with the coverage. Not to say you can't wear it, right? It'll still cover the important stuff. Your For eyeballs, sure. your nose, your you teeth. You might take one to the, to the underneath the, yeah, underneath the throat. Your, your jawline might catch one with this mask if you're a bigger guy. So die, where's our die I five plus for the larger oh, guys. See, there you go. Hey, Mark, Mark gets credit for that. The die I five plus, uh, come in maybe never, but die, you should probably check that out. Uh, last things last, obviously I have full review on this goggle as well. It does come with a GoPro mount. A lot of the guys want that, you know, kind of personal game footage of themselves. So it comes brand new, uh, in package with a GoPro mount. So check it out. It is the die I five. Let's get on to the next thing. We are talking the Ninja SL two with the pro V three stainless coming in here. So the thing important about the stainless cartridge up top, a lot of you guys, whether you want to admit it or not, you guys are, are, are apt or, or prone to cross threading it on onto your marker. So with a stronger metal here with the stainless threads up top, you guys, uh, it's, it's going to be less prone to be cross threaded rather than the aluminum cartridge. So that's why we included this in the package. Um, so, I like that. This reg is fully adjustable anywhere from 750 PSI all the way down to 550 PSI, which coming stock out of the box, it's already set at 550 for a lot of the higher end tournament guns, such as the Geo R5. Um, obviously it's got the readout gauge. This is a very, very high end tank and Ninja's been around. They are made in the USA for a very, very long time. Mark, would you like to know anything about the, uh, anything else? Um, I just think they need to catch up with their numbering system because everything else here is a five and that's only a two. We got, well, we got a Pro V3 reg with the SL2 Oh, together tank. they're a five. You add them up. Yeah, three and two is five. Good oh, at math here. Nice. So, and very, very light. Ninja is a great company, provides a you know, high quality product. So that's why we included that in the package. 
we will go on to the Virtue Spire 5 Hopper, which many of you know, once again, every single one of these products, we have a full individual review on the YouTube channel already. Virtue Spire 5, my, my, I'm not gonna say my favorite part, but I really like it a lot. It comes with a rain lid, but already comes with the speed feed installed. So obviously if you guys are playing in crappy conditions, you guys can simply pop off your speed feed with a simple press of a button. And in the box, it comes with a brand new rain lid. So press of a button, no tools needed. You can take that off and tinker with that. I'll say it, that's my favorite part. You, you like it? I, yeah. Cause you buy a I hopper. I love a speed feed. You need, a lot, you need one. A lot of hoppers these days, you buy a standard hopper with a rain lid and then you got to buy a 40 to $50 speed feed. So you might as well, you know, have it included already. We're just talking plastic here, right? On the inside of the Virtue Spire 5 hopper, this is what it looks like. Come stock with a uh, spring ramp. So when you guys get low on paint, it will start forcing it down into the drive cone. If you guys happen to break any paint, you guys can pull the magnetic cone off and get it clean in there with a microfiber or some paper towel. I really like that option. Completely toolless once again. Uh, to actually get into the system itself, you got dual sensor technology to help feed the paint with the eye system here powered by three AA batteries right there. And then obviously the rest of your board electronics and components sit there. Everything is completely toolless on this loader, which I really like. You don't have to bust out screwdrivers or Allen wrenches. Um, lastly, before we go on to the Geo R5, we're gonna talk about a very important feature, which is gonna be located right here, the anti-lock system or the lock, whatever you guys wanna call it. So when you take a bad dive, this hopper doesn't come apart. You have to slide this down first here in the back, and then you'll be able to push and open up the hopper for any maintenance or changing the batteries on there. So yeah, you don't a, gotta be one of them guys wrapping it with tape to keep it shut like one of the previous models of hoppers. That's exactly right. So anti-lock system, huge on the Virtue Spire 5 hopper. Um, beautiful, I think they did a great job with this. All right, on to the main show here. It is that brand new Geo R5 by Planet Eclipse. Um, What's the R stand for? Uh, reborn, reimagined, redesigned, and reinnovated. Something just like that, Mark. So a lot of R's there. Uh, like I said, full video on this gun already. So we're gonna go quick. We're talking an S63 Pro Barrel here. Uh, this gun does come with two power inserts, a 689 and a 685 stock right out of the box. The length of this barrel from, from tip to, to stem there is 14 and a half inches. Locking lever clamping feed neck. So you've got the thumb wheel on the one side here, and then you're gonna be able to clamp it down depending on whatever hopper you're using with a nice locking lever there. You will notice there are no eyes. Well, there are eyes, but they're hidden compared to the previous models. Let's see if this comes up easily. It does. Uh, all this stuff is hidden behind the new texturized anti-slip rubber foregrip. So all of the eye stuff and access to your detents are completely hidden by the new rubber grip there. I do like that feature. You will now notice that you have more space in between here because the solenoid is no longer up front in this area. It is back here in the actual frame itself. You do have that five point adjustable uh, rake or blade trigger here. So you can adjust the rake as well. You got five points of adjustment you can use for the trigger. You got the brand new GR core, which I really, really like. They did a great job designing this brand new GR core. Um, this thing has a larger firing chamber a larger prop shaft. There's a gold piece sitting on the inside there. And it also comes shorter can with a shorter bolt stroke, allowing this gun to operate anywhere between 95 to 105 to 110 PSI. So anywhere as low as 95 and as high as up to 110. So you got great air efficiency with this bad boy. It is that brand new GR core. Does it have a soft tip? It does. It actually does come with that high flow soft tip bolt. I like that you pointed that out. It's good on the high end uh, brittle tournament paint. So it does have a nice soft tip on there. I do like that. Um, you got the MME electronics on board, just like the CS3 sitting on the inside of the grip. Um, so what that means is this is your full tournament, pretty much this is your whole board communication system here. You got Bluetooth on board as well. So if you guys wanna download that um, Planet Eclipse, I believe it's called the ePortal Lite app on your phone, whether Apple or Android, you guys can connect this gun to your phone and mess with parameters and all the different settings via on your phone and change it directly instead of messing with the screen. Now you will notice you do have the SFR, the uh, solenoid flow restrictor, now up in this area. Instead before, it was up in the grip frame area on the outside where you could easily see it, but they've hidden that as well. I think they did a great job. Um, other than that, you've got your POPS ASA here down below. 
So obviously engage and disengage your air. And that should pretty much cover it. If you guys want to know anything else about the brand new, you know, PEGOR5, like I said, I did a full unboxing and review. If there's any simple components you guys want to know, go check it out in the other video. Until then, price point for the entire package, getting one of the best goggles on the market, tank uh, Virtue Spire 5 and the GOR5, we're looking at $2,250. So if you guys are getting into paintball or you've been into paintball and really trying to amp up your game, check them out on the website. It's lonewolfpaintball.com. And stay tuned, guys. If you're still on the fence about this wonderful, wonderful marker, we've got an efficiency <laughs> test coming or it might be already out. We've got some verses that might be coming or might be already out. So Ooh. stay tuned. we got more content. Stay tuned. See you guys soon.